So the first step is to locate the utilities, and those are usually provided by the civil engineer by way of a PDF file or a CAD file. And right here I'm showing how to link in the PDF file that was provided to me from the civil engineer. Once we have our utilities located, we can start to route some of our piping systems to our building. And I'm starting with the storm system and the cold water system. And those are both entering and leaving my building at the water service room. From the water service room, I'm going to route my cold water mains. And at this stage of the design, it's called schematic design, and we're going to show where our main piping is throughout our building. In here, I'm attaching a water heater and also running my hot water mains throughout the building as well, along with my hot water return piping. Next, we'll start to route our sanitary main building drain, and we'll start the furthest fixture, and we'll go to where the utility location leaves the building. And I'll finish things off by routing my storm main piping so I can summarize my schematic design with all of the piping mains throughout my building. After you route your mains, you're gonna to wanna to place your plumbing fixtures. Here I'm going through and placing my custom plumbing fixtures and I would recommend using custom plumbing fixtures. And I do have a video on how to create a custom plumbing fixture and what a custom plumbing fixture allows us to do is change the parameters associated with it like the height, the cold water connection size, the fixture units and all the things we would want to be able to manipulate for a custom plumbing fixture. And now I'm just routing my branch piping down to my fixtures in anticipation for connecting to the fixtures. Here's a shot of one of the custom plumbing fixtures that I'm using. And now I'm ready to start to connect my branch piping into my plumbing fixtures. And I show a bunch of different techniques, one of them being the automatic routing techniques, which will automatically route the piping to your plumbing fixtures. And we also go over some additional techniques like connecting into the piping and the standard manual way of just drawing piping to your connectors. And here I'm showing how to use the automatic routing to connect all of my wall hung plumbing fixtures. And finally, we're going to connect our plumbing fixtures in our single public restrooms. And once we've connected all of our piping to our plumbing fixtures, we can now run calculations in Revit. We can run calculations a couple of different ways. We can use the pipe sizing tools. We can use pressure loss reports. We can also use schedules to summarize values or parameters and use those for calculations as well. Right here, I'm showing how to use the automatic sizing tools. And we're gonna use it to set a specific velocity which will dictate the size of the piping to each plumbing fixture. Using the fixture unit values, and the GPMs. And even though there's some automatic calculations going on, it's always a good idea to review the sizes that have been created, as you would do even if you didn't have Revit. And here I'm just showing how to confirm the sizes and verify that the sizes are looking correct. So if you're interested in learning more about plumbing in Revit, make sure to go to mepguide.com and check out my full length course where I go step by step through an entire plumbing design. I start the design off by showing how to create custom plumbing fixtures, and we use those plumbing fixtures to create all of the plumbing systems within our project. This includes the sanitary and vent system, the domestic hot and cold water system, and the storm system. Anyone who is a beginner at Revit or even advanced Revit users will get a ton of value from this course and make sure to check out any coupon codes I might have in the description. See you guys.